I mean, I just think it would be a different reaction because gays have so much power. They're getting – I think the swell has taken – Swell, that's not, not the yeah, right word. that's another word. But, um, <laughs> but, the past no seven, yeah, but the past seven years, I think seven, ten years ago, this wouldn't have been such a story. But now the, the, the homosexuals are getting so much power, and rightly so. I'm not saying they shouldn't. They should be treated like everyone else. But, but it's, if, like, if it's that's highly truth, sensitive now. If that's the truth. Uh, we're gonna go to the, we don't, we, we don't you know what, you know what we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Boston right quick and take my man Cuss. <laughs> we're gonna let Cuss weigh in on that. How you hey, feel about Cuss. that, Cuss? What's up? Cuss? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm a, I'm a long time listener, first time caller, as they say. Uh, oh, thanks for calling. I, I, no, no, hold. Let, let me ask you a question. Lakers or Boston? How do you feel about that? Boston all day. I don't, don't even ask me about the Lakers. Who, Lakers make sure who? you cut him short. Make sure you cut him short. We gotta cut him off now. Go ahead, Cuss. But no, I mean, I've been privileged to uh, to play basketball and soccer and a couple other sports throughout my life. And what people, professional? people may not understand, well, I played at a, a prep school, MCI, up in Maine, and then I played okay. against professional athletes that are actually in the league right now. I actually played against some people. But what I'm trying to get to is, yeah, you, you commented on it, Johnny Mac, that it, it's in that culture where people, it's a very heated game, and people say things that normally maybe they wouldn't say. I was more upset with the fact that if you guys look at the film, he had Joe Smith on the left of him, which was a veteran NBA player, and he also uh -huh. had Theo Ratliff on the other side. Uh -huh. Neither of those guys, after he said that, tried to be like, "Hey, hey, you know, you know, kind of, kind of be quiet. Don't, don't, don't say that." Everyone They're trying to, to keep their job. Don't want to piss Kobe off. Theo, they ain't gonna be, they be on, a, on an active playoff roster. They can't say shit. They can't say <laughs> 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 more models. More models in the sense that if I made that mistake. One of my peers, one of my co-players, whoever it was, would say, hey, hey, you know, don't do that. In soccer internationally, they're cutting out swearing. They give red cards and yellow cards, but if a player swears after, you know, they, maybe they kick the ball out of bounds and someone yells, fuck, they give them a card and they send them home. Basketball what? is a little bit different. You know what I mean? Basketball should be allowed. You should say certain things. Although I did call someone a fucking faggot, you didn't have to do it that way. You know what I mean? You say... Well, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Bottom line is he should have been more responsible. He's a role model. Bottom line. That's what that is. That, 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 that's not out. what that is. Because yeah. you, now you're taking the Thank human you, element. I, Thank you so much for the uh, call. I'm glad we cut him short. I don't never want to hear from a Boston Celtics fan ever. Well, in my it, life. It, it, but but uh, <laughs> because we see you in the finals, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> exactly. See you in the finals. But here's my thing: it never would have uh, uh, been an issue. ESPN played it every. Freaking minute! But that's what they look for. They, they look, look to for bring the controversial black people moment. down. Not, not well, black people. It truth. doesn't matter who. <laughs> I'm quite uh, sure Dirt and the Whiskey and Steve Nash say cuss words too. Okay, wait a minute. How many times <laughs> have you seen the dirty needles that the Rocket was using on ESPN once that information came out? Right. They played it over and over and over right. again. They're looking for the sensational moment that's not to what, play over and over and that's over. That's not again. what it's for. You are supposed to report the sporting news. Not the legal that news. Is that news. is sporting news. That ain't sporting news. I want to know who news. wins Kobe the game. Bryant, well, you got to read the bottom of that thing to and see call that. somebody a fucking faggot. It's He's okay. out of pocket. He, the guy's not gay. Uh, it was never meant, like Kobe said, it was never meant to hurt anyone's feeling. He just reacting to, to uh, remember that, like, now they got you can't react or, or slap your hand. That's they not, call. yeah, you're it's right. It's too much. That's too much. I but should be allowed. Even Kobe acknowledged in his Kobe statements. Kobe don't know shit. He plays he was, basketball. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> me. He's light-skinned. That's funny. <laughs> no, but Kobe. Now listen to me. I'm light-skinned. <laughs> Trust no, me. But Kobe mentioned that, though. He, he mentioned it. He said, hey, let me talk to the youth because he doesn't want to send that image to the youth because he knows a lot of children idolize him and follow him, if, if, and he doesn't want them saying if you or having had, a If you wouldn't like have had that camera on him, we never would have seen it. If ESPN would have showed Steve it. Steve Kerr said take the camera off of him. You yes. might want to move it. Yes. If you got young kids watching, you might want to take the camera off of him. That's but let me Kerr ask you this, though. You know you got young kids watching it. Why would you follow somebody that's angry? What do you think I'm going to say when I'm angry? I'm going to say fucking faggot. We're going to go to Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to Pennsylvania right quick. We got my man, 10 Grand Derek. What up, Derek? Hey, Johnny Mac, how you doing? Thank you for having me on today. I just like to say I love the foxhole. And the foxhole and, loves you, brother. No and homo. I think Kobe Bryant should have been suspended. What? You oh, must be at your goddamn mind. <laughs> Yo, I like the Lakers, but my problem is with David Stern. You you can't find a million dollar, a multi millionaire player like Kobe, a hundred thousand dollars. That's a drop in the bucket with the money he makes and the endorsements he makes. That's nothing. But if they would have dropped from the second seat down to the third, he would have had to deal with all of LA for acting like a fool. Because anything they're doing off the field is now in the papers. 
Thanks, my man. It don't have to be on camera. Yeah. But 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 Derek, NBA ball, all professional athletes, they curse. Well, I'm so sorry. Men, we curse. Men get uh uh in the spur of the moment, we lash out, may say some good curse words, we're aggressive. So you can't you can't expect this young man just because he played basketball to stop being a man. That's what we do. And speak to the hundred thousand dollars. The average fine is what, twenty five hundred? Five thousand. Yeah, about twenty. Come on, a hundred thousand dollars is still a hundred thousand dollars. So don't act like just because yeah. he's making twenty four million a year yeah. that a hundred thousand dollars is not significant. Well, because I, I it think is. I think Bill Gates said it best one time because Bill Gates they gave ten thousand dollars to this charity and they kind of ripped him apart. And Bill Gates said, "Hey, I'm in the making money business, not the giving money business." <laughs> now, now, but be honest. I have to be honest. If if it wasn't Kobe, they are treating him different because if it was somebody else who said it, the camera wouldn't have been on him. So. You know, the thing is that they own Kirby. They're going to make it a story of Kirby, Kobe. <laughs> it's just, Why do you think that? Be I don't think it's... Go deeper. The reason I think it's because... No one, homo. Well, maybe homo. <laughs> what? No, no I, homo. I got, no. <laughs> no, this is my feeling with, with athletes that have gotten a pass, like Kobe when he got into trouble. Not a pass, but he got through it and he's back on top. Mm. You're gonna, you can't keep bringing that up, so you're going to find you just something. Did. So they're looking for something. Yeah, look, something just to keep you at your level. Because that's the, that's the trouble that they try to do with, with, with Bill Cosby and Donald Trump, all that stuff. I, I thought that we had the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press, and freedom of assembly. But you don't have the no. freedom so we, of speech to we can say We hate. can say we want to say as long as you agree with it. That's why baseball players cover their mouth. They're the smartest ones. Well, you can say what you want to say as long as you don't have corporate sponsorship. He plays that's basketball. Yes, but, but he plays for a corporation, the Los Angeles Lakers. He plays basketball. Who, who, are, who are a franchise that are a part of the NBA who have agreements with multiple corporations, and they don't want to be affiliated with that type of behavior. And, and, and uh, 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 the guy, Derek from Pennsylvania, we got to screen our calls. He said he should have been suspended. Why, why would he get suspended? Brandon, you feel he should have been suspended That's, for two words? Whatever happened to sticks and stones may break my bone, but words will never hurt me. I think that is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what that guy is on. I mean, it's, it's words. Do you think that there – I'm sure in every – high-level corporate office somewhere, there's something going down in a boardroom, and some CEO has gotten pissed off and, and said some choice words. It happens. It it's, happens. It's a part of the game, and I don't think that, that, that yep. he should be penalized for it. I don't think he should have to pay $100,000 for but it. That I'm Maybe quite sure Bob Cousy said, gosh darn it, at least three times in the middle of a game. Uh, but a the, the, times. He should be, he's a professional. Athlete. He's a professional athlete, and he should be conducting himself a lot better, and he should learn to cover his mouth. It's simple. You know the camera's on you. He's been in the league long enough. And if everybody knows the camera's on you, cover your mouth. He should know better. I thought that was right. if you cough. Yeah. No, what, just so <laughs> go, nobody can hear no, but go you. Ahead, know, a final thought here. Tim Dog 98 on, on Twitter made a great point. Impossible. He said, what Kobe said wasn't even picked up by microphones. Now, in the NFL, they have microphones on the sidelines, and when you hear the tape back, they'll bleep out That's the curse words. That's what I'm saying. Kobe didn't even say it within the range of a microphone. They had to go seek him out. Who was that? But, Who tweeted you that? Uh, this is Tim Dog. No, he's wrong. They did hear it on the mic. No, they didn't. No, they, no, they, they didn't. They, they saw his no, they lips move. They don't have the. They don't have those sidelines mic. That's like right. That. They, they don't mic like players. We're gonna take a break and come right back. And Zo and Tim Dog ninety eight, you're very a hundred percent right. I you're support. You're very a hundred percent right. Yes. Yes. I, that's, I, I that's a. That's not nigga bit. That's a double positive. <laughs> hey, that's not no English <laughs> test. I can say what I want to say. Ofu and Brokeback Mountain, a gritty ATL cop drama. Gay T L. Today is a training day, Officer Sebastian. Are you a wolf or are you a sheep? Let me hear you wolf cry. Oh, 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 oh! There ain't no damn wolf cry, honey. This is a wolf cry. A rookie cop on his first day, teamed with a seasoned rainbow warrior. 24 hours, choices will be made. Lines will be crossed. Here, try this. What is this? You got to know what you're dealing with in these streets. Here, taste it. Taste it. What the hell was that? I you know you like to get wet, Officer Sebastian. Wet? What was in that? That was a skinny double chocolate chip cream frappuccino soy almond latte, bitch. Starry, Miss J, Tevin Campbell, Wendy Williams. And Tyler Perry. I got a pair of Jimmy Choo's for you, Wendy. If you step up and scratch this bitch face. This Lennox Mom, you gotta put your own work in here, honey. How you doing? Do you do? 
when the world around you is in flames. Go Tevin! 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 The New York Times called this fierce. You gotta wear your shirt tied up in the front. It's real in these streets. And you got to know when one of these fish gonna try you. Antoine Ronaldo of the San Francisco Tribune says, Grab your ankles for the thrill ride of the summer. You're under arrest, Mr. Perry. We ain't racking no damn arrest today. I got a hair appointment at 5 o'clock. So we just gonna let him go. Uh uh. Y'all supposed to search me. I know. I'm the LA Chronicles calls it gay. If you don't go see this movie this summer, oh, trust Boo Boo. I will come over to your house and blow glitter in your damn face. Gay TL. Coming to a theater near you. Oh, that's just black time. The Fox Show. Fox Show, baby. Series 106, We're back. Kobe, we got your back, Kobe. I got your back. I'm not going to say those things like that, but we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Make sure you give us a call. 877-2106-106 is the number. Call in and, and express how you guys feel about our topics. Or if you want to go hit us, if you want to hit us up online, you can go to twitter.com slash foxhole, F-O-X-X-H-O-L-E, and post your comments on Twitter. I just did my first tweet. And then you didn't that turn your phone so... off. Well, I did. I said, Lewis <laughs> Dix is on live at the Foxhole. So someone will tweet me back? Well, I don't have any followers. You probably don't have any followers. Yeah. It's going to take you at least six years to get six people. <laughs> We're going to go to our next topic, which is uh, very funny. Aww. I guess it's not funny. No. Well, it's uh, but cheaper it, than... Yeah, yes. yeah, it's, yeah, it's cheaper than... Well, it might not be cheaper. It's due to suing Jesse Jackson. Oh, is it? Really? Go, get, let's get into it, uh, Brandon McGee. Well, basically, there is a former assistant of Reverend Jesse Jackson who is making two claims about the reverend and fallen, I suppose, civil rights leader. Um, one of them <laughs> <Civil> is... <rights. laughs> Or uh, you know whatever he was supposed to be to us uh, back in the day, which he I don't think he's, I don't think he, <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't know if he's representing right now. He 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 marched, but um, this guy is saying that when he worked for Reverend Jesse Jackson, uh -huh. number one, he was left to clean up after him and after his jump offs every now and then. So nothing so, wrong with that. So the good Reverend would call him up at one o'clock in the morning. Um, and he was, uh, you know, he would have had women over to his hotel room. And, allegedly. Allegedly. And the man would have to escort the women to his hotel room. There's nothing wrong with that. And then come back and clean up and pack up for him after it was over. That's your job. And then it goes <laughs> even further. He says uh, another time at the same hotel, huh. uh, the reverend summoned him at 1 o'clock in the morning to take notes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> And that when he arrived there, that the the Reverend was only dressed in briefs and a V-neck T-shirt. I don't even go together. T-shirt and, and <laughs> briefs. How, how, yeah, that. <laughs> and uh, he said that he could tell by his whole look and that his whole demeanor changed and that his breathing pattern changed when he came into the room. So in other words, this cat is trying to sue Reverend Jesse Jackson. For sexual harassment. Right. And and mind you, the guy is, I think, uh, a homosexual. He's a, he's so himself. he feels that Jesse didn't keep hope alive. And, and <laughs> that didn't make sense. But no, he, did, he, not but, bomb. But, Let me tell more about the story. Year, <laughs> Stick with the one joke a year. I know. Definitely not two in a show. Um, <laughs> he said the, 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 the reverend um, actually told him a story about when he was in high school and he had a gay teacher that... Um, got him got him good grades he got to use his car he got ten dollars and he got his penis sucked and he wait, said wait, that wait, the reverend read the words wait, wait. what did the words let me, say? okay yeah this is a terrible report i'm sorry you guys always cut me in and it throws me off let me see he said that reverend jackson stated that while he was playing football there was a gay high school teacher who took reverend jackson under his wings and told him that he needed education to go along with football so reverend jackson said that from that gay teacher i got a good grade I got to use his car, I got $10, and I got my dick sucked. And he also said, that's not gay, that is surviving. So the guy no, that's is Eddie Long. That's Eddie Long. The guy <laughs> is accusing <laughs> yeah. Reverend Jesse Jackson of being a secret homosexual gold digger? And womanizer. And womanizer. Now, wow. It just, <laughs> it just don't go together. First of all, I'm going to say, I'm going to just jump out on him, and I don't believe it. I don't believe... That the good work, the good Reverend Jesse Jackson, <laughs> who, if, if, if according to this cat, is a womanizer, got girls in his hotel room every night, all night, that you got to come by and clean up. First of all, if you're my assistant, that's your job is to come clean up. Shut up. And who clean you up. want to clean up, me? 
<laughs> you want me to clean it up? I made the mess. I can't make the mess and clean it up. <laughs> right. 